Happy Halloween, everybody. Welcome to Tanya's Toddler Tips. And these come out every single week on Tuesday. And you may see my son, Sequoia, in this video. But many times I can't make him do things. A toddler is just that way. So sometimes you'll see him, and sometimes you won't. Today's topic is all about nightmares. Yes, nightmares. So nightmares are different than night terrors. And with nightmares, you can really help calm the child down. Night terrors are a different ball game, and maybe I will give a video in the future about that because my son has many night terrors, and we've really conquered some things there. All right, so nightmares. <laughs> nightmares sometimes are caused by stress in life or a reoccurring theme that goes on in, in a fear of a child in when they aren't sleeping. And it could also be food, food, especially sugar. I remember when I was young, my mother would not give me sugar before I went to bed because it would cause me nightmares. But sometimes even watching a scary movie can do that too. So there's many causes of nightmares and usually they are pretty much um, unresolved issues in your life. So anyways, with little kids, <laughs> nightmares seem so real to them. And when they wake up in the middle of the night, it's very difficult to get them to go back to sleep. So I'm going to give you an exercise for getting them back to sleep and calming their emotions. All right. So let me put down my pumpkin. <laughs> All right. So nightmares are usually occurring in this frontal lobe, the amygdala. And the amygdala is very connected to uh, stressful emotions like fear or negativity. Um, and so this exercise is so easy to do. And all you would do is take your hand, you can even rub it and warm it up. But when your child is holding, you are holding your child like I'm holding my cat. You would put your hands, you could do this on animals too, you would put your hands on their their forebrain right here and then put another hand on their back brain right there just like that and eventually they will start calming down. It's a really good thing to do when a child has this reoccurring thought going over and over and over again, like in a nightmare. It's very hard to turn off the brain. And when you hold the front brain and back brain of your head, the blood will go back into your head because when you have fight, flight, or freeze, even if it is in a nightmare, it reacts in the same way. And the blood leaves your forebrains in order to go into your limbs in order to run away or fight. Your when you are holding your child in this place, if it doesn't feel good on their skin, you can also do a couple of inches away, just feeling their energetic body and just hold there. And eventually their nerves will start to calm down and they will just fall off to sleep. It's a really good thing to do. So, until next week, happy Halloween, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you back here on Tuesday. And, and if you ever want to know about my work with children and their families, go on over to energymedicineforkids.com. Mm -hmm.